guys. Today I'm going to show you how we use the discussion tab feature in Xero. And the discussion tab is by far one of the most important ways that we communicate with you as the customer. So the first step we want to do when we want to check for discussion tabs is we want to look for this reconcile items box. Now at the moment we've got 27 items here to reconcile and that relates to this Bank West Business Bank account. You can also see that we have a savings account listed here with Bank West and there's no other, other bank accounts at the moment, just those two. So the key thing about this, which is really important, is that we're looking for the unreconciled items. So you may have credit cards, bank accounts, um, savings accounts that have unreconciled items and we may have questions about certain transactions that we don't know information about. So what we do is we go ahead and we click on that 27 items and then this screen pops up here. And what we can see here, these are the transactions that are for this business bank account. And you can see the first transaction, which is a deposit on the right here. So it's $6,187.50 that's been deposited into our bank from Ridgeways University. And that mimics exactly what's coming into your bank account. So this is an example of a discussion tab. So what we're gonna do here is, I'll give you a practical example. So I might say as the bookkeeper, um, hi Linda, for argument say as the customer, what invoice does this deposit relate to? And then we put ICB, which stands for I count beans. And then my initials, which is MT, and the date, which is the 24th of 15. Then you as the customer say, Hi Michael, this is a part payment or invoice 72 and then LD and then you put the date and then save. Now the beautiful thing about that is that we've asked a question, you've responded with your initial and the date and it's as clear as that. There's no need to email each other or make a phone call. Another example of this is this transaction for an expense and we've said please RB which we know RB stands for Receipt Bank. And then ICB, which of course is I Count Beans, and then a date. So we've asked you as the customer to please Receipt Bank this transaction from Smart Agency. Okay? Then you as the customer have said, I Receipt Bank this on the 24th of 9th, 15, and write your initials. And that's it, that's all we have to do. That's as easy as that to talk to each other. So that's how we do it, guys. We look through, you can scroll through to see if there's any other discussion tabs, and you can click next if there's more. But basically, what we need you to do is to check these transactions every couple of days and see if there's any questions. Respond to that question, and then we can move on. And that way we make sure your accounts are updated as quick as possible. And then when you finish, you can just click back on the dashboard to go to the home screen. So there you go guys, that's how you review discussion tabs in Xero. I hope that's been helpful. Speak with you soon.